Warning to viewers, this is not the most important subject, but it is one that both of the presidential candidates can't seem to stop talking about. Donald Trump spent his early morning on a Twitter rant. Once again, Trump took aim at former Miss Universe Alicia Machado. A little after 5 a.m., Mr. Trump tweeted this, quote, Wow, crooked Hillary was duped and used by my worst Miss You. Hillary floated her as an angel without checking her past, which is terrible. He followed up about 15 minutes later with this. Did crooked Hillary help disgusting, check out sex tape and past, Alicia M. become a U.S. citizen so he could use her in the debate? The Clinton campaign fired back with a tweet storm of its own. Quote, this is unhinged even for Trump. A few notes followed by this. Tweet, what kind of man stays up all night to smear a woman with lies and conspiracy theories? And Trump had a response for that. For those few people knocking me for tweeting at 3 o'clock in the morning, at least you know I will be there awake to answer the call. Our political panel is back from National Review, Jonah Goldberg, and from the Washington Examiner, Susan Fariccio. Before we play this, Hillary has certainly been critical of the way Donald Trump allegedly treated Alicia Machado. And uh, it all had to do with the fact that while she was Miss Universe, she gained too much weight in his view. We had some video from the, from the time. And it puts a little different light on how he acted toward her. Let's take a look at it. Alicia is like me and like a lot of other people. I love to eat. We all love to eat. Not all of us. Some of you are lucky. But we eat. We like to eat. And she had tremendous pressure put on her with the win and everything else. Plus, she was going from country to country, all foreign places. And there was a huge amount of pressure. And some people, when they have pressure, don't eat. And some people, when they have pressure, eat too much, like me. But like Alicia. Hmm. He went on to say that he and Alicia and a personal trainer were going to work on her weight and we're going to get her back to looking as beautiful as ever for the following year's pageant. So, folks, um, how long can this keep going on, Susan? Well, first of all, this started on Monday night at the debate when Hillary Clinton brought up the fact that he had, at one point in the distant past, referred to her as Miss Piggy, I think. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. uh, and, and Miss House Cleaning. And Miss House Keeper Keep or something. His housekeeper, yeah. okay, so now this is alleged. We don't have any yeah. proof that he actually said those things. Right. She, Alicia Machado says it. Hillary says it. But that's it, right? So the bait went out, and as we all knew, uh, Trump took it, and now here we are on Friday night, and this thing is not over. Um, and really, it's less about this one particular incident than it is just about the pattern that 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 everyone now is familiar with with Trump, which is to take the bait. And not only just take the bait, just not let it go, uh, make things worse for a while, and then have it go away for a while until something else happens. And that, I think, is what the pattern is we're seeing with this. Yeah, no, I, I think that's right. I think it really, it's sort of silly to talk about the bait in a certain way. The fact is, is that the great white took it, and now you've got to talk about what the great white <laughs> is doing to get off the hook. Um, and this points to a fundamental problem that I think Donald Trump has. When he's punching up, he's winning. That's how he won the primary. He took on Jeb, who was this big front runner. He took on the RNC. He took on the Washington establishment. He took on the powers that be. And he looked great. He looked like a hero to his, foul, to his fans. But when he punches down, he looks really, really bad. And we learned that with the cons. We're learning that with this. It looks, it looks very unpresidential. It looks beneath him, and it looks like he doesn't have a good temperament. He not, needs to learn how to drop taking bait like this. Um, because you know there are going to be a lot more attempts to bait him, and there's every reason to believe they'll work. And we now, in addition to dueling tweets about the former Miss Universe, we have, we have dueling issues involving foundations. Both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, have, their foundations have both come under intense scrutiny during this 2016 election. Today, a new issue involving Donald J. Trump Foundation. It has never obtained the certification that New York State requires for a charity to solicit money from the foundation's New York office. That is according to the New York State Attorney General's office. Your thoughts on this, Jonah? Well, I think in and of itself, this is not that big a story, save for the fact that it reinforces other stories about the sort of shoddiness and slipshod way that foundation has been run. You're talking about the Trump Foundation. The Trump Foundation. Right. Um, it also kind of undermines the whole I hire the best people thing. But ultimately, I think these foundation stories kind of cancel each other that's out. The, that's my question, because the fan, there's a great deal that has been learned about the Bill and Hillary Clinton Foundation and the way it's dealt with people and the walking conflict of interest that a lot of people felt the foundation automatically was. So does this really take that issue off the table in your view, well, Susan? Well, that, I think, is perhaps the biggest problem with this. It's like Jonah said, in and of itself, I don't think it's that big of a deal. 
But if they do cancel each other out, in other words, if it makes it harder for Trump to attack or go after her, say, at the next debate on Clinton Foundation because he doesn't want to get the return fire on Trump Foundation, that's taking something out of his arsenal that could have been a really effective and powerful way to go after Clinton. Yeah, and I think, I think the Clinton Foundation is arguably much, a much worse I agree with thing. That. Mm -hmm. The Trump Foundation sounds like it was a little sleazy, a little self-dealing. The Clinton Foundation, in violation of direct orders from the president, in violation of standard practices, was basically a giant slush fund and sort of a super PAC for the Clinton Foundation where she kept her cronies on payroll. It, you know, there's an ancient principle in political philosophy that any foundation that has Sidney Blumenthal on the payroll is up to no good. Folks, Sidney Blumenthal, of course, is a longtime Clinton friend, intimate, and operative, yep. uh, who enjoys in, here in Washington and elsewhere not the greatest reputation yep. for, for straight dealing. Mm -hmm. Jonah Susan, thanks very much.